Hello everybody and welcome to Scalable Scripts. In this video you will learn how to create authentication using React. The backend for this video is done on Laravel and you can find the video on our channel. In this tutorial you will be able to create components and routes to consume API calls, use states and handle errors. This video is part of our React authorization tutorial which includes handle of errors on React. Let's start with it. Now that everything works fine, we still haven't handled all the error cases. For example, if we enter here a wrong email with a wrong password, nothing happens. We have no way to know that these are the wrong credentials. Let's fix this problem by showing the error messages. Let's go to the login component and for now we just console log the error. But we want to get the error. To do that, we need to store the error message to our state. Let's do that now. This dot set state. I will create a property called message and the message will be error.response.data.message. Now we are storing the error message in the state and we need to display it. I will display the error message right here before the login header. To do that we need to create a variable called error which is an empty string and if this state dot message dot is set so this will trigger when we have an error we need to set the error here I will write just a simple bootstrap error dialog div class name alert alert danger role alert and I will show the message here I will just show the error in case there is no error it will show an empty string so it won't show it Let's open the page, now everything looks fine. Let's type a wrong email and you will see a message wrong email password. So we handled that error. Let's do the same for the sign up. Let's go to the sign up page, register and do the same thing. Let's go back. Let's copy this state here and paste it here. And we need to initialize the state. Let's do the same for the error message. We need to store it here and to display it here. So let's try it now. Let's create something that this email exists and the password doesn't match. So we get a message the given data was invalid. So this is kind of the message that we are expecting. Now let's do the same for the forgot password. Let's go to the forgot component. And again let's copy this code. And paste it here. Display the error here. And we need the state here. Do not forget to set the state as an empty object. The problem with the forgot component is when we enter an email that doesn't exist, it shows the error which is fine. But when we enter an email that exists, it doesn't show anything. It should show that we have sent an email, so a success message. So let's do it now and display the success message. The problem here is that we want to show the same message, but with a different class name, since that one is to handle errors and another one for successful ones. To distinguish them, we need to add another parameter which is a class named danger. 
There are a lot of ways to solve this problem, but this is the way I solved it with my approach. Here we need to change res.data.message and the message should be success. Let's change this variable to message and we also need to change the class name. In this case, is this dot state dot CLS. So in case there is an error, it will display the danger alert class. If it is successful, it will show alert success class. Let's try it now. Let's try an email that doesn't exist. And we get the correct message. Let's write an email that exists. And we get a successful message box, check your email. You can see that it works fine. Now let's add a final change to our reset component and it will be the same as the other messages. Let's also copy the error code and let's show the error on top of the header. Here I opened a link for the reset password and let's try password that doesn't match. And we will get a message the data was invalid. So everything works fine.